We are going to be smashing biceps today and uh, we'll see, I, I may do triceps, my left elbow is a little bit sensitive at the moment so we'll see, but biceps will be okay. Just got back from Montana, I was there from the weekend, so uh, it was quite an exhausting weekend, uh, spent a lot of time snowboarding, but I'm hydrated so I should be okay. Uh, so I'm going to do a circuit, I'm not doing really heavy weights at the moment, but I still want to annihilate and break down the muscle fibers. Obviously, so what I find is increasing the intensity and sometimes the volume really helps me to get to that failure point. So what I'm going to do is go straight from uh, one exercise to the other, to the other, to the other in succession with no rest. So it's kind of like a circuit. So I'm going to be doing cable curls first. Then I'm going to do barbell curls, probably followed with some drag curls with that same barbell. Then I'm going to do um, like a front facing, like preacher curl, lying face down on an inclined bench with a barbell. Then I'm going to go straight to the dumbbells and hit, hit some alternate dumbbell curls and then possibly go into some bar, uh, hammer curls there as well. It may not be in that order. I'll see what feels uh, best, but I'm definitely starting with the uh, cable and following that up with uh, barbells. Okay, so uh, it's gonna be a lot of intensity there. So I'm probably gonna work for about 15 repetitions. Probably do about four of these working circuits. I've already done a warm up set. And um, uh, yeah, probably about 15 repetitions is where I'm looking. So there's gonna be a lot of repetitions here. So without further ado, triceps uh, a tricep circuit now as well but my elbows are feeling just a little bit sensitive you know I could do the workout there's not a problem but I always think like, am I healing my future or harming my future I could possibly be harming my future if I do triceps now so I'm doing chest tomorrow anyway so that is going to give my elbows an opportunity to warm up get synovial fluid into the joints more blood into the connective tissue so then I can transition into triceps a little bit easier tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do instead today is fill that gap where I'd usually do triceps with abs. So I'm gonna do a, um, some ab supersets here. And I tried doing some rollouts, see how my elbow feels doing the rollouts with a wheel that I have here. I'll follow that up with uh, some sit-ups and uh, then maybe a plank. So uh, we'll give that a shot. I don't count the reps on this really, I'll just go to absolute failure.
so that is it for today. Today is quite a short workout. Tomorrow will be a little bit longer because like I said, we didn't do the tricep circuit. We did a Habs and Man. I tapped out pretty quick there. We did three sets of three exercises. Just went to failure, so three circuits. And uh, that was it, I was done. So biceps and abs. I feel a little bit tired from the weekend. I am hydrated, I have been on top with my food. But I think, you know, when I landed in Montana, me and Dana Lynn Bailey went straight into a leg workout. Then we spent all day from the very first uh, lift to the very last one. Uh, we were there snowboarding on quite a big, quite a big slope. And then uh, we got, after that, we got straight into a, a pretty nasty back workout and flew back, had a late night last night. So I think it may have took, taken its toll, but I'll have a good night's sleep last night. So my aura ring, when I looked at my, uh, my sleep app uh, this morning, uh, the quantification did tell me, take it easy today. Your core temperature was increased and your heart rate variability was up as well. But I'm obviously not taking a rest day, uh, but it was an easier day, let's put it that way. Uh, but a good night's sleep tonight should be putting me back on track and hopefully the ring will be a little bit better to me. So we'll catch you here tomorrow.